This is Our Daily Bread. Good afternoon. I am your man, Brother Art, here at the Regal Room with a goal to inspire you and to encourage you with God's word. We do this every day, Monday through Friday. Thank you for tuning in and engaging with us, whether you're doing it live or at some point during the day. But for hopefully the next nine minutes, we'll provide you with some truth about God that will allow you to say to yourself, wow, God really does love me. That's all we aim to do. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for the evidence of your love. And we thank you for giving us the, 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 the ability to open our eyes to see that as truth and allowing us to take steps forward, live our lives, and share that truth with each other, the truth that you really, truly do love us. We praise your name this day and forevermore for that truth not only being revealed but you continuously willing to define it thank you god for your love in jesus name we pray amen so today i want to talk about a choice a very important choice that we all either have made or making some of us who are young will make this choice in the future, but this is a very important choice because this choice that we all will make at some point in time, it comes with ramifications. Amen. Let's jump right into our daily bread. Let's jump right into the scripture. It is Exodus uh, chapter 20, verse 20. And we read, the people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. The people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. I know you're saying like, oh, what, what is that? But that's not inspiring to me. Give me something. So let me add a little context. Amen. Moses retrieved the Ten Commandments from God. He exited the top of Mount Sinai. He went back down to where he left the Israelite people. And he shared with them God's word, the Ten Commandments, the law of the Lord, the principles that are meant to give us the life that God has designed for us to have. At the conclusion of Moses reading these words, the atmosphere changed. All of a sudden, thunder. All of a sudden, there was lightning. All of a sudden, the air kind of got thick. And everyone, including Moses, there knew what was taking place. Oh, my God. God came to reaffirm what Moses was saying. God came to reaffirm, to strengthen, to validate. God has approached where we are to make clear that he is truly our God. The Israelites, fear grew over the Israelites for, for, for a moment because this was something that they might have heard of before, might have visualized before, but they were actually experiencing it. God is here. So they drew back. And Moses said, don't be afraid. It's God here for you. He's here for you because you are his people. But the Israelites said, wait a minute, Moses. Wait a minute. This is way too much for us. And of course, I'm paraphrasing. Here's how we could work this out. God has something to say to us. Let him say it to you and you tell us because we're OK. If we have something we want to say to God. Listen, we don't want to talk to him direct. We'll tell you and you tell God. But Moses once again says, what are you fearful for? He's just here to test you. He's just here to prove himself as true. You are his people. He delivered you out of Egypt. Everything that he has promised thus far has become your reality. Why do you fear? Accept this as a privilege. Accept this as part of the promise. Then we approach verse 21, where the people preferred to remain distant. 
where Moses and Moses alone approach the darkness, the thickness, and went to where God dwelt. The same choice that the Israelites have that day is the same choice that has reoccurred, reoccurred, and it presents itself to us this very day. It's the same exact choice. Do we approach a God? Do we draw near to our God who has made himself, he's revealed himself time and time again, wanting one thing, our heart. Let, let me clarify that. Wanting from us a relationship. Or do we continue to deny this opportunity? And do we keep distant? Do we, for some reason, stay far away from our God? This is the choice that we have. This is how we enter a relationship with God. And unfortunately, I believe, I see, I witness that when this opportunity approaches you and my brothers and my sisters, many people today, they do what the Israelites have done. They draw themselves far and far and far away and their reality never connects to the destiny that God had designed for them before our friends were even conceived. So we have to go back and be fair to the Israelites because we have to remember there was this darkness and there was this level of fear because where this presence of God dwelled was within the unknown. Why? Why was it darkness? Why couldn't God be coming up on like a magic mushroom or down in a, a beautiful cloud with angels? Why did it have to be in darkness? Well, let me tell you why. Two reasons. Number one. Darkness represents the unknown. Darkness represents things you can't see. What we're accustomed to doing in life is entering into something using our vision. But the reason why God placed himself in that moment in darkness was because the only way you can approach it, not using that sense, was to approach it in faith. Anyone who wants to have a relationship with God, anyone that chooses him has to approach him only by faith. You walk by faith and not by sight. Number two, God dwelled in the darkness. And the reason why is because many of the problems we have that keeps us away from God and from making that choice are things that we have placed ourselves in the darkness thinking no one knows and no one sees. And if I put it here, I never have to deal with it again. But these are the things that separate us, that are a partition between ourselves and God. So God wants to meet us in the darkness. We're there. We can deal with it. We can acknowledge it. He can rectify it. And during that whole process, he'll grab our hand and walk with us through it. It's a choice. That's what this is, a relationship with God. And the, the two options are very clear. Draw near or stay distant. Draw near you with him forever. When you stay distant, you will never find and meet the destiny that he has placed in your heart. My encouragement, draw near to God. Draw near to God today. Our Daily Bread, Monday through Friday on Brother Art, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Join us every day. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.